Friday night lights are inching closer as football season kicks off this week for several schools in Region 8. Maddie Sexton stopped by football practice for the Jonesboro Hurricane this afternoon to see how the team is handling these hot temperatures. It's new at 6. Sitting out this afternoon due to a minor knee injury, Hurricane senior Marion Taylor didn't feel too bad about missing practice in the brutal heat. And we'll just like walk through and then we'll probably take a 10 minute break, you know, just so we can cool down, take some water, pour some water down our back. Practice how you play. Assistant Athletic Director Carter Harbuck says this August weather makes it difficult. I had a lot of heat. So this week um, they've done a good job adjusting. Uh, AAA has guidelines and our athletic trainer uh, Lita Hills does a really good job communicating that to all the coaches. It's nearly 100 degrees right now and the athletic trainer here at Jonesboro just informed the team that the rest of practice will need to be inside because it's too dangerous for them to finish outside. She provides them with 15 minute updates when it's close to being a, a day that they they could get wet bulbs as they say. The wet bulb globe temperature measures heat stress in direct sunlight and indoor workouts may be a little cooler, but junior Asa Myers would rather put in the work outside. We're, we're limited in our indoor because we don't have a full size or wide enough football field in there. For the short amount of time on the field, players did not fully dress out due to heat concerns. But with the first home game just two days away, Myers said the team came in before school to get that real game-like feeling in helmets and pads. We did it at 6 a.m. this morning. We had practice, which we've had the past two days. Doing it in the morning, a chance to lift weights or maybe watch film, do some things uh, indoors that, that you don't risk that chance uh, with the wet bulb. Despite his injury setback, Taylor spent practice monitoring Monitoring all of the plays, so he's ready for Friday night's home opener against Conway High School. Sitting back watching and learning, I feel like I can pick up some stuff, just uh, tape up my knee, and I'll be ready to go on Friday night. And that was Maddie Sexton reporting. Harbaugh mentioned that practice and match times have been altered this week for cross country, golf, and track teams. And you.